If you want to understand how food can protect you from cognitive decline, a really good person to ask would be Dr. Timothy Harlan, or Dr. Gourmet, as he's better known. After all, he is credited with bringing the culinary medicine movement to the United States. So it surprised me a little when I asked Dr. Harlan if food could be a form of medicine, and he said no. Now, when he explained why, that made sense to me. But to be clear, he was not dismissing the healing power of food. Just the opposite. Adopting a brain-healthy diet is absolutely one of your best defenses against cognitive impairment. In fact, I am going to make the case today that in many ways, food is better than medicine. Hi, I'm Tony Deering of GoCogno.com, the website for people with mild cognitive impairment. If you've been diagnosed with MCI, your doctor has talked to you about all sorts of things that you can do to give yourself the best possible chance of slowing or stabilizing your cognitive decline. These are all important, but most experts agree that brain healthy eating has to be near the top of your list. But here is the one thing you need to understand. There is no super nutrient or super food that can spare you from MCI. I belong to a private Facebook group for people with mild cognitive impairment. And in a Facebook Live that I did with Dr. Harlan, he really emphasized that point. Here's what he said. Yeah, I'm not a, I think, uh, I'm not a big fan of the phrase food is medicine. I think that that has connotations, unfortunately, or has, has uh, over the course of maybe the last 10 or 15 years, people who use that phrase often think that it means that you can use a particular ingredient um, to treat or cure a particular disease. Um, you know, there's a big movement of, around turmeric, for instance, and, and curcumin. And, you know, the, those, the, those data just really end up being pseudoscience. And so what culinary medicine does uh, is it, I, I think, on a couple of different levels. First and foremost, you know, this is the idea that uh, that just eating great food and thinking about and being mindful about what you're eating, um, avoiding highly processed food, actually almost any processed food, just trying to get back to cooking yourself is what is uh, probably one of the single uh, largest social determinants of health. Dr. Harlan went on to talk about the Mediterranean diet, which is similar to the mind diet and has been shown to promote brain health and overall health. And the reality is that if you are concerned about cognitive health, these diets offer you a protection that medicine can't, which is why I would argue that at least for now, Food is better than medicine. First, there is no medicine for MCI. No pill your doctor can give you. Someday there will be, but right now, food offers you a potential protection than medicine can't. Second, healthy food has no nasty side effects. The same can't be said of medicine. A bad reaction to medication is one of the leading causes of cognitive impairment. Third, healthy food can be delicious. You rarely hear the words medicine and yummy in the same sentence. You want even more reasons? Healthy foods cost less than medicine and don't require a prescription. Good food is something you can savor with others in a way that adds enjoyment to your life. And you're not required to take any particular food. 
you get to choose your foods. And if you don't like it, don't eat it. Now, please, don't get me wrong here. I am not anti-doctor. I am not anti-traditional medicine. And I am not anti-pharmaceuticals. You want to be a partner in health with your doctor. Get regular checkups. Follow your doctor's advice. If you're prescribed medicine, take it. I'm just saying that right now, for cognitive impairment or for dementia, traditional medicine doesn't have the answer. That doesn't mean there aren't answers. Lancet, one of the leading medical journals in the world, estimates that 35% of all cases of dementia could be prevented simply through healthy habits. And that includes a healthy diet. If you want to know more about that, I welcome you to get my free guide, 10 Foods to Eat for Better Brain Health and 5 to Avoid. It's based on the Mind Diet and shows you foods that can promote brain health and foods that are known cognition killers. You can get this guide when you sign up for my weekly brain health email, which also is free. Just go to gocogno.com slash 10 foods. I hope you find this helpful and I hope to see you again next week. Until then, as always, be kind to your mind.